If tab switching burned calories, I'd be unstoppable. Today, I'm building real content for my course, Launch and Scale Your E-Commerce Store. I'm doing it inside Muset. Think of it as a creative engine that helps you turn ideas into blogs, frames, and reels while still sounding like you. We'll work through free lessons from the course, E-Commerce Business A to Z, the E-Commerce Origin Blueprint, and niche first and products next. I will show you how I plan, write, and generate visuals in one place, no chaos, no copy-paste marathon. Running an e-com business isn't just list products, run ads. It's landing pages, emails, facts, social posts, help docs, and visuals that actually explain your products. I will show you the exact flow I use to create those pieces faster, keep the tone consistent, and update information everywhere without hunting down 10 files. Here's the scenario for lesson three. My target niche, remote workers who love pour over coffee but have tiny desks. The product idea, a modular desk-friendly pour over station that keeps filters, scale, and kettle tidy, no coffee chaos during Zoom meetings. This is my messy note dump. Let's turn it into something usable inside the page. There we go. Clean paragraph still in my voice. Now, I want quick answers for common objections. So type insert, add a free question fact about desk safety, footprint size, and cleanup time. Instant section added, no hunting around for templates. You can open a voice and style. The sidebar panel, I train the voice by uploading a couple of lessons pages and newsletter. That's enough for Muset to match the phrasing and rhythm without sounding robotic. That pulls my glossary from e-commerce business A to Z. If I adjust a definition later, this reference stays current automatically across everything I've linked. No re-uploading, no which document is the newest drama. Let me show you why this helps once you scale. Scene A, page-wide update. We just changed from intro price from $100 to $89 on this page. Type update replace 100 with $89 across this page. Every instance on the page is updated, price tables, captions, bullets, done. Scene B, multi-page sync. I added heat resistant silicone fit to the products back on this page. I need that to propagate to the product page. Amazon listing draft and quick start insert. Type sync, copy the silicone fit spec to the related pages and Keep specs aligned. All the related pages pick up the spec change so I don't miss one and confuse customers. Scene C, auto create pages. We are launching in US, UK, Denmark, and Japan. And I want localized products, blurbs nested under the main page. Type auto create, create localized blurbs, US, UK, D, and Japan as child pages under this product. Boom, organize where I expect them ready for translation and reviews. From this single niche page, I want four assets. I want a YouTube script, a blog tutorial, a student email, and a LinkedIn carousel thread for the audience that loves workspace setups. Type generate bundle, YouTube script, 10-12 minutes with beats and cutaway cues, blog tutorial, about 1300, maybe 1500 words with H2 and H3 sections on ergonomics and maintenance, to the email, 230, maybe 270 words, call to action to watch the deal. A LinkedIn thread, eight, 10 posts for the home office coffee tribe. Tone, match my samples. Keep all links to glossary and specs, so updates flow. These are structured first drafts. They come back with real headings and sensible flow. I still edit for punch, but I'm no longer starting from scratch. For lesson number one, I keep a living glossary, AOV, LTV, CAC, and a few operational terms. When I refine a definition or add a note like AOV lift plan, add a two-tire bundle, station plus filter holder, that change shows up everywhere I reference it. It keeps my landing page emails and ads aligned to the same math. If I want a quick touchable paragraph for the blog, just type in rewrite Turn the AOV, LTV, and CAC relationships 
into a 120 words explanation for beginners. Finish with a single action to try this week. For lesson number two, here's a short version of the founder's story behind the pull over station. I kept knocking over filters during calls, the cable cable looked like a trap, and the scale lived wherever it landed. The fix became the product. That's the story essence. Let's tighten it for the about page or, or the hero email. Type rewrite, keep the founder tone 100, 120 words, add one line that promises a calmer morning routine. Now I have a clean brand true paragraph I can reuse in launch emails, the product page, and a pinned social post. Now words sell, visual close the loop, I want images that teach what the product does without me writing an essay on every platform. Visual A, thumbnail, hero graphic. You can type image, hero graphic, tidy pull over the tiny desk, minimal black white with one warm accent, negative space for face cut out in thumbnails. I get a few options, pick one and expert. No jumping into five design apps. For visual B, free frame explainer, for carousels and reels. Type image, free frame sequence, frame one, cluster desk, pre-coffee, frame two, a modular station assembled, frame three, tidy desk mid-call with mug. Keep style consistent across frames. That's perfect. For a LinkedIn or IG carousel, it shows the promise without me over explaining. For visual C, tweak without starting over. Select frame two, type image edit, Make the cattle mate, keep the composition. Now quick iteration. Same style, no blank canvas pay. For visual D, real world reference search. Type web image, find clean desk setups with compact coffee station for reference. Now I have reference to align the look and fill across the website, email and ads. For the blog tutorial, I'll want keywords around desk coffee setup, pull over at work, small space coffee station, and quiet kettle. I can ask the following. Type, analyze SEO potential for this draft, suggested related queries a beginner would search, and outline a simple H2H3 structure. I get something practical I can use right away. Then I fine tune based on my own experience and course standards. For social planning, I might ask, type, show questions, People ask about small office coffee setups and surface content gaps I could fill in a short video. Now, my content plan comes from actual demand, not guesses. Perfect. Tools don't replace days. I still write my hooks, I still tweak call to actions, and I always do a pass to check clarity, but starting from a structured draft and keeping everything consistent across pages lets me ship more without lowering the bar. I used to bounce between ChatGPT, Docs, and design tools. It worked until I spent Saturday fixing the same update across four files. Here, I edit in the page, link to other pages that stay current, spin up visuals in the same place, and keep my glossary as a single source of truth. It's faster and cleaner for a store with lots of moving parts. If you want to try this, go to muset.ai. You get 36 free rounds of pro access to start, enough to draft multiple blog posts or generate dozens of images while you figure out your flow. If you upgrade, pro accounts during beta have unlimited credits with premium models, so you are not bumping into limits in the middle of a launch. Also, join Muset Discord it's where creators swap workflows and give feedbacks that shapes what ships next. Links in the description, guys. Check it out. And if you make something you are proud of, tag me. The team's always looking for creators who push this kind of workflow because long-term partnerships come from great work. Today, I showed the exact flow I use in launching and scale your e-commerce store on lesson number three, niche product, turn, rough notes into a clean page and add targeted fact and create four outputs from one single source. In lesson number one, keep your numbers and definitions centralized, then reuse them everywhere. In lesson number two, origin, tighten a founder story that actually reads like a human wrote it. Visuals, create a hero graphic, a free frame explainer, iterate details and pull references 
all in one place. As well, research, validate topics, and structure parts without leaving the page. Now, tell me in the comments what's your biggest content snag right now? Keeping tone consistent, reformatting across channels, or staying updated everywhere. I'll try solving it on camera in the next video. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. See you on my next AI tool recommendation. Peace out.